Hello YouTube, we are the Twins of Destruction, Destruction Extraordinaires at your service, here to bring you a tutorial on how to make a rack for sewing spools. Uh, this could be used because you can organize all different kinds of thread, and we have a couple made here. What you need is just two dial rods, pretty thin so it fits the um, diameter, of the, diameter hole. of the hole for the thread. And then a piece of wood. Doesn't matter how big, how long, how short. We got all this wood at Joanne Fabrics, but you can get it out of the stores. Probably like Home Depot, Pat Catans, stuff like that. But we just got thin wood like this what and do. small dial rods because they're easier to hold up on the wall. We made a dial rod like this, and our plan is to glue them on and at an angle. Glue them on, this. yeah. So you can just. So when you put it on, the thread just sits. And then you can hang it, hang this, this whole thing up on the wall, line them up. While they're all lined up on the wall, and they're basically you hung can just up on take the wall. them off and use them. So that's our goal. So you're going to start out by taking these dowel rods. Using your desired measure. Go ahead. And just cutting these. The same then, length. Once you cut one, you can use that one as a measure for the next one. So I already cut two right here. And they're the same length. So then you just go and then cut three and then four and then five and then just however many you want. To fit this whole piece of wood. But it doesn't, you know, it all depends on the size of board you have for how many dial rods you need. So we'll, we'll be back when we're done with cutting the dial rods. All right, now that all these are cut out, we have 18 little mini dial rods. Depends, yours will be different because you could have different size dial rods. You could have bought more. But we're going to take these and we're going to put them off to the side for now. And you're going to take a measuring tape or you could just eyeball it. And what we're going to do, um, after one inch, we're going to estimate, we're going to throw it in the middle, and then put a dot. You are using the usual spool size it's, as a reference. It's estimated, yeah. So then we're going to go another inch, and then just put a dot. We're basically just going to mark every inch on this piece of wood right here. And then we're going to put a dial rod on every single dot. We're going to two, three, four, five, use some hot glue. Six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine. Okay, we screwed up. Okay, so we so, actually... Yeah, we're marking you know, every inch. And then we were going to... Um, decide whether to do it every two inches or whatever. Every inch and It's a half. up to you, really. So we're just roughly going all the way down. Well, the spools are kind of big, so we don't think it's going to fit with one inch, so we're probably going to do it every two well, inches. Well, if you want to, like we did, we started out here, so you can just go, just draw these little... Mark every two inches so you know where you want to mark. Again, it's up to you. It depends on how much thread you have. The size of the spools. We just want to be more safe than sorry, so we're going to do it every two inches, to make sure that all the spools fit in between each other. See, because as you can see right here, put one right here, there's enough room right here, and they all will not bump each other. So now we're going to actually start gluing on the dial rods. All right, so this is the final finished product. As you can see here, I didn't end up just gluing. I actually drilled at an angle. So take with that with what you want, but then stuck the little poles through and glued it on the back. Little yes, little poles. <laughs> and actually had enough to fit the whole piece of wood. So we are done. Um, if you don't have little marks like this, you can just leave it alone. You can spray paint it. You can wood stain it. 
I'm probably going to wood stain it, you know, just my personal preference. But this is the final product. This is what it's going to look like. And you can just take the head and put it on. But, you know, you can either put it up on a, on a bench like this. You can put it anywhere you want. Or you can go down at the bottom here in the corners and actually get some nails and nail to the wall. So it's at a convenient place top, to wherever you're sewing. Corners, but... Well, top corners, bottom corners, whatever. Yeah. All right, so that is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed.